Dr. Ted Picole, Dr. Penis, I have made the perfect aviation fuel. I will use it to power my rocket to destroy the world! Why do you want to destroy the world? They never cared about me, so I don't care about them. Uh, aren't you afraid? Somebody will try and stop you? No one ever dare stop me, the mighty, all-powerful Dr. Ted Picole! Now get out of my laboratory! How dare you disrespect me! I must, I must find somebody who can stop the mighty Dr. Tesfico. I cannot let him destroy the world. Ma, this is not a good doc. I will call you back. My name is Dr. Pinis. Dr. Testicula, the man I work for, has developed rocket fuel to power a rocket to blow up Earth. I need your help to stop him. All right, how are we going to stop? Well, I can get you into his lab, but after that you're on his own. Okay? Do you know how you're going to take him out? Thank Jake. Thank you. You're working on some kind of solution, right? Yeah, I have a, a deadly aspartame solution that I can poison him with. Good. He he eats dinner you can mix in. I, I don't know. Right. I have been working on some very explosive firework to blow up lab if everything fails or we just blow up lab. Uh, but how are you going to get away? Don't worry about that. You're will take care of it. Sounds like a plan, gentlemen. So we're good. We'll meet tomorrow, 12 o'clock, same place. Okay, I will see you there. Safe right. trip. Alright, we're good. Who dare enter my lair? Stop at the answer to the door. It's a perfect time for me to poison. Yeah, I got, a, I got a delivery for a doctor testicle. It's a decline!
now, Doc. Get off. 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 Get the rope. I got it. <laughs> you gotta make get sure you never get to see the light of day. Climb up good. Things Stay on. still. Uh, Stay still. My arms. Do you want a wedgie? No. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> oh, my arms. <laughs> of terror has come to an end, Dr. It blew up the lab with all your aviation fuel, so your plan is over. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Shut up. Let's wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. Before you send me away, can I just have a moment alone with Dr. Penny's? Do it. Fine. Make it quick. Dr. Penny's, get over here. Dr. Penny's, I have something to tell you. What? I am your mother. But how? Forty years ago, I was a 400-pound Samoan prostitute. But then I got pregnant with you. When I went to the hospital, there were complications. The doctors, they experimented on me. And now, I'm what you see before you. A 132-pound Caucasian male with a red mustache, destined to become a mad scientist and rule the world. I feel compelled to follow in your footsteps and destroy the world.